I'm so excited that you're all here with us today and I appreciate your spending the time as we're going to discuss some of the most challenging health issues of our time, including health and the environment, mental health, and emergency response. Um, I especially want to thank our speakers who are bringing their expertise and spending time with us today. And I also want to thank the AmeriCare's Board of Directors for being here. But I most especially want to thank you for your support. Without your partnership and your engagement, we would not have been able to bring life-changing health programs to millions of people for 40 years. I'm Christine Squires. I'm Chief Development Officer at AmeriCares, and I'm so proud to be part of the AmeriCares family. Before we get started, we all know how health affects our own lives and the quality of our lives of the round, loved ones around us. Our CEO, Michael Neinheis, recently lost his wife, Sandy, to cancer which is why he's not with us today. Michael wishes he could be here. He thanks you all for your support and encouragement, and he looks forward to coming back to AmeriCares later this month, and we look forward to his return. <clears throat> the theme of today's summit is resilience, and we're gonna ask ourselves some questions about resilience. How do we recover from and anticipate challenges and change? And what does resilience look like in our own communities and our own homes? And when I think about resilience, I think about somebody who I met. Her name is Alexia Suarez, and she's an AmeriCares health worker in Puerto Rico. <clears throat> I've traveled to Puerto Rico a couple of times since Hurricane Maria bore down on the island less than two years ago. I've, in fact, I've traveled to Puerto Rico many times in my life. And it's easy to see the resilience of the land. The trees are green, the crops are growing. It's a beautiful island, but for, <clears throat> For many, and for hurricane survivors, recovery has been difficult. Every rainstorm brings painful memories of Hurricane Maria and all of the stress and the trauma that goes along with that. And it's been especially difficult for health workers who bear a double burden. They're survivors themselves, and they're trying to help survivors in their communities. And Alexia is one such example. She stares, shares her story with me and others and help, hopes that it helps her continue to recover and grow and helps others around her. So when Hurricane Maria was about to strike Puerto Rico, Alexia's first thought was of her teenage son and his safety. So she sent him inland to be with his father, away from the impact of the storm, so she thought. <clears throat> the next day, when Hurricane Maria struck the island, all communications are lost. We all know no power, no phone, no email no information. She had no idea where her son was. For three weeks, all she heard was stories of death and destruction around the island. For three long weeks, she didn't know if her son was safe, and she thought the worst. I can't imagine not knowing where my child was for three weeks. But this story has a happy ending. She did get word that her son was safe, and they're back together again. And I'm proud to say that Alexia, along with AmeriCares, has helped to train thousands of health workers in Puerto Rico to help meet the enormous mental health needs of hurricane survivors across the island. Alexia is an instructor, but she also takes in the resilient skills that she learned through her own experience, and she shares that with others. She teaches how to listen, how to share, and how to hope. So when I'm looking for a definition of resilience, I think of Alexia and what she told me, which is, we can turn trauma into growth. And it all starts with health. Health is at the center of it all. At AmeriCares, we believe health is fundamental. With good health, so many things are possible. Children can learn, families become stronger, and communities can build back to, uh, together stronger. AmeriCares reaches over 4,000 health centers in 90 countries and 50 U.S. states with life-changing health programs. And I think I'm most excited today that we have with us the people on the front lines who are making health happen every day across the world, from Liberia to Tanzania to Colombia to Haiti to the U.S. And I'd like to invite our program staff to please stand so we can celebrate the amazing work you do and the passion you bring every day. Now, please stand. <laughs> <laughs> there
there's more of you out there, but that's okay. I wish I. <laughs> so um, I want to ask you to please engage with our team today. They're so excited to share the great programs they've been working on, and they want to thank you for your support. I'm also excited about our lunch today. We have with us um, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN's chief medical correspondent, and national cor correspondent Erica Hill. Today is about partnership, and I am thrilled to honor two amazing partners at lunch today, um, Carol and George Bauer, who have provided transformational support to AmeriCares. We look forward to celebrating you both later today. <laughs> Thank you. Um, a couple of housekeeping things. So we are on Facebook Live today. So please text your friends, colleagues, and ask them to tune in. And if you're active on social media, or even if you want and want to become active, our hashtag is partner for health. So again, if something excites you today, if you want to share a photo, please do that and help us spread the word. What else did I want to say? Oh, yes, okay. Um, <laughs> engagement. So today is about connecting with us, but we want you to connect with each other. Around this room, we have a wealth of knowledge, and I want you all to please ask questions, share your thoughts. We have plenty of breaks planned so you can talk to each other, and who knows what other relationships and partnerships can be formed today.